Hey guys, welcome to our first episode of So You Want to Play Marimba. In this first episode, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about where to set up your marimba in your home space and what to think about as you approach it because you wanna make friends. So you might have a marimba from a friend or you might even be borrowing a marimba from us or you might have something that's similar to a marimba that can work in place of it. There's a couple of things you wanna think about when deciding where to set up your marimba to encourage you to go to it, to encourage you to play for friends and family and to keep it safe. So the first thing is you wanna find a place in your house where you pass by frequently. Dining room, living room, rec room, even maybe in the hallway between your kitchen and front hall, some place where you pass by where you can leave your mallets and a little notebook or a sign of what you're working on so you can do drive-by playing. We find that people who have their marimbas set up in more public shared spaces like this tend to go to their marimba more and have more fun with it. Your basement, your attic, even your bedroom or office might not be the best place for you to play your marimba as much as you would if it were set up somewhere more public. So think about where in your house you can have your marimba set up where it's not in the way, but will encourage you to play it and bring joy to the others around you while you play it. You wanna make sure that it's not in direct sunlight though, because sunlight can affect the tuning of the wooden bars. Next, you wanna think about um, where, where that place is and if you can have a little bit of resources around you to help as you get further into your study. Like I mentioned, you might wanna have a notebook or a place on the wall or nearby where you can post a list of songs or skills you're working on. But you also might wanna have a laptop or a tablet and some headphones where you can play along if you're on a remote lesson or a remote class or even outside of your learning time if you're working on playing with a YouTube video or a recording or a video that your teacher has sent to you. We find that um, cordless headphones are the best, so if you have some AirPods or some wireless Bluetooth headphones, those are great. But if you don't, you can simply run the cord of your headphones down the back of your shirt and then to your device. And for this, you might need a headphone extension, and that's just gonna be an eighth inch male to female extension cord for your headphone. Um, so I hope this was helpful in helping you think about where to set up your marimba and how to make it more accessible to you. In further episodes, we'll talk about what exactly should you be doing when you're going to your marimba, and we'll have some tips for you in some upcoming episodes. So guys, stay safe and have fun, and enjoy your marimba.